Remember Emily Jane O'Dell? The Yale scholar who, after the Tree of Life synagogue massacre, tweeted, should white men be required by law to attend re-education centers to help prevent mass shootings? Well, she's back, and this time she's got some very interesting takes on Soviet Russia. Let's take a look. Emily Jane O'Dell is a research scholar at Yale University specializing in Islamic law. She's also an editor of Harvard Law's Sharia Source, which doesn't just seem to document Sharia law, but also, from a couple of pages I saw, seems to at least somewhat be okay with it. Anyways, back to Emily. Before deactivating her Twitter, the Yale scholar recently tweeted out every single person I have asked in Central Asia and Eastern Europe over the past decade and a half has said life was better under the Soviets. 100%. Wow, I'd really love to know who those people were. You had the purges, the gulags, and I mean it's not for nothing that there's a whole Wikipedia article dedicated to detailing the devices and strategies people would use, as well as some of the consequences they would face from trying to escape East Germany. After another Twitter user told Emily that many Americans would say life in the 50s was better, but said there were some large caveats, the scholar said, including an Ivy League professor, who said coming to America was the greatest mistake of her life, and she will be returning soon to her post-Soviet nation because neoliberal late capitalism is devoid of all humanity. At least we were human, she said. Okay, so I'm not sure if she's referring to herself there, and don't get me wrong, neoliberal late capitalism is pretty decadent, what with materialism and big tech bullies, but you're honestly going to argue that a post-Soviet nation is less dehumanizing than America? And remember that this is the same Ivy League academic who's tweeted stuff like, the real national emergency is armed white men, and when the revolution comes, do you want to see white men suffer, or should they be given a chance to reform? My 70-year-old female neighbor said we should shoot them. Guess there's lots of anger about. Emily sure does talk to some strange people. Either that or the discourse really has moved that far when it comes to communism and inciting violence against certain groups. For Campus Unmasked, I'm Rob Shimshock. If you like this video and support our mission, please make sure to comment and subscribe. If something happens on your campus and you'd like us to investigate, send us details using the form on campusunmasked.com.